Hello there, Paul Tranny here, and I wanna cover managing and exporting content, okay? First off, when it comes to managing, um, if you are creating a lot of content, hopefully you're turning those into symbols, so you have one symbol and instances of it everywhere, but I do wanna show you that even though you might not have done that, just like I didn't in this case, right? I'm using, you know, these various um, limes everywhere, but I feel like the seeds are a little bit too dark. So how would I edit that, right? It means, you know, doing a lot of work, right? Probably editing each one individually. Um, but what I can do, since this is a group shape, if we go over here to the properties panel, let me just move this back, properties panel, right down here in the properties panel, start a global edit because when you group an object and you start duplicating it it actually makes an unnamed symbol sort of like under the hood so uh, illustrator's got your back as i select start global edit you can see it highlights all the instances of that all the different sizes and i can begin to change this uh, double clicking on it i can see right in here like i said an unnamed symbol is what it made because Illustrator was looking out for me. I can change that to white. Maybe I can make this outside peel um, Maybe just a touch Darker so it's kind of just separates it out a little bit add a little more yellow there and we can go back and we could see that it's changed it everywhere so consider this your visual sort of search and replace. Let's take a more complex situation. I have this logo um, and I have it in a lot of different places as you can see, right? All these cards and brochures like just all over the place, right? And we're gonna update it. So what can we do? I'm gonna copy this one. This is the new logo. This is the old logo. I could do the same process. Start global edit, right? As I zoom out, you can see all the instances where it's being used. So now I can just go in here, double click on it like I did before. I usually make sure it's said, it says unnamed symbol, paste it in, right? Position it like so, like that, and then delete the old one like that. As I go back, you can see, let's remove that one. We see that it's changed it everywhere. So it is your sort of visual search and replace, which is awesome. Okay. So that's when it comes to managing content, think about that. Global editing helps out a lot. Let's kind of move on into sort of uh, exporting out content. And here I have all sorts of people. In fact, they came from this file. There's actually a hundred people that I made in here and it got a little wonky. Um, luckily I started out making them, you know, individual artboards and we can see all the artboards are right over here, right? A hundred of them gets a little wonky, right? And that's gonna annoy me as a designer. Well, I can fix that. So right over here, we can go into edit artboards, okay? And right over here, I wanna rearrange all, okay? So I'm gonna rearrange all the artboards. I can do, say for instance, if I did two, it gives me a warning. It says, hey, basically, um, it's gonna tile them clear out of the file completely. That's why it gives me that warning. But I'm gonna make 10 columns uh, of 10 people each, 10 rows, 10 columns, layout order, go from left to right, and click OK, and sure enough, it defined 20 pixels between the spacing between them all, and it looks nice and neat from there. When it comes to exporting, I go to export, export for screens, right here are all my artboards, and I can export out to my desktop, right? In this case, we'll just do export, screens like that create there it is choose in here i'm going to just make these jpegs right you get the idea uh, we could add as many of these as we want um, and go from there i'm going to click export artboard that's done i want to do a one more thing for you by the way and this was the i had it put it in a one uh, and i had it actually a pens uh, the name uh, 50 to it because it's 50%, a 50% JPEG, uh, but that's good to go. But I also want to show you something else because if I'm doing constant changes to these characters that I have, uh, notice that they are grouped. Well, what I can do is I can use the asset export panel, okay? So I'll take this character, drag him right in here, and this is like asset 28. Again, I didn't really name it. I should have probably in my layers, but this is like character one, right? I can have character two right in here as well, just like so. Uh, but if I jump in here and uh, decide to change the hair in this case to something else, fun, 
it's always gonna update that asset. So I can actually continue working, and then once I'm done, even though I have all 100 characters in here, I can always um, export them out uh, to all these different sizes that we see over here as well. In this case, maybe I'll do a ping, not two times, it's one size, one time the size, uh, right up here. It's gonna do one and two. I'm doing a ping file because uh, I have transparency back there, right, and we could do that drop down. You get the idea. I could do SVG as well. Export to, again, a folder. You know, this is the export panel. Export for this successfully completed. Going to export for screens, export panel one times, and you could see that one character. Why did it do that? Let me show you. Because even though I was playing around in the asset export panel, I only have had her selected. So I actually need to select both characters uh, or all of them, basically. I'm just gonna do select all and then hit, hit export. Um, you also can export from screens there, from there, which is nice. But in this case, making sure both those are selected, that's why it only created those two or excuse me, that one, and now it actually has created those two ping files. Uh, so those are your uh, pro tips for exporting out. Uh, you don't really need me to go through the fundamentals, like the basics, because you probably know how most of this uh, other exporting, export for web, which is legacy. Uh, this is like the pro way, because you could always make those changes later on uh, as well, which is super nice. So thank you so much for watching.